Well, I fell in love with bowling the first moment I did it. I did it when my family used to bowl league. I went down and started in a, a young bowlers club, we call it, in England on a Saturday morning. You know, the social aspect to start off with, with my friends bowling on a Saturday morning, turning into you know, leagues against adults when I was a kid and just falling in love with bowling. I think always trying to understand what I can do a little, a little bit better. Always looking for the advantage I can get on the lanes. I never give up in any situation, but trying to get an advantage on the lanes through a little bit better ball motion, matching up a little bit better, hand position changes and adjustments like that. So I think that really motivates me to become a better bowler and I think that's what has got me to where I am in my career. When I was a kid, I played every sport I could, a lot of soccer, uh, and then as bowling became more serious, kind of learned that you're going to get injured if you carry on playing every other sport that you can, and it takes away from bowling, so I don't really play that much now. We've got a good balance at the moment. I don't like to be away from home any more than three weeks. Two weeks is just about comfortable, as bad as that sounds. My wife used to be, used to be well, she bowled for Australia, and she used to travel a lot. She understands exactly what we go through. And with the uh, technology we have today with you know, FaceTime, Skype, WhatsApp, Messenger, anything like that, we're in contact all the time. I had a pretty cool job when I was 18. I um, was working in a London-based company, but I did it more locally, so I live, I live an hour from London, in an office working in the stock market day trading. And I was, we had about a year of, um, had a year of doing it, and we had about half the year was training, and then the next six months was sort of gaining experience, and I was just about to get, I was getting pretty decent at it and then unfortunately the, the company expanded a bit too far. I did have an opportunity to go and work in London in option trading, but then that meant I couldn't bowl. So I don't ever feel like I've ever had a position where I don't want to bowl anymore, but there's definitely been times where I've had to go back to the drawing board a little bit, go home, reevaluate my practice sessions, reevaluate re my goals, and then come back out and try and achieve them. But uh, the 2013 World Championships was you know, my only major. I've won some big tournaments, but that one really sticks out as me arriving onto the PBA Tour. I've won a title before, but to but that's the week I, I look back on the most fondest because it's a whole week of bowling the World Series, playing you know four different animal patterns. I think it might have even be five that week. I can't quite remember. But then going into uh, the match play portion of the of the World Championships after leading the whole way through and then getting into the stepladder and throwing some shots I'm really proud of. That was definitely the highlight of my career so far. You get to see how the whole tournament unfolds day in, day out for a whole week. You get to see how you know, the guy who wins and how they progress to get to that point that week is something very special. I think when you come out to see that and actually see it at the venue and you get to see everything not just on you know, an extra frame or on TV at the end of the week where it's all down to the good bowlers, but seeing how it always unfolds and how the greatest bowlers in the world are the greatest bowlers in the world, I think in any sport, it's fantastic. And if I wasn't a bowler, I'm sure I'd love bowling as well, just because you get to see the best in the world do it.